dear students welcome you all to this engineering graphics video lecture in previous lecture we have discussed about straight line inclined to one plane today we are going to discuss about straight line inclined to both hp and vp by using rotating line method Consider this question: A straight line AB, 8 mm long, has its end A 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. The line is inclined at 45 degree to HP and 35 degree to VP. Draw its projections. So first step of this diagram. Assume the first assume the straight line inclined to HP only. Inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Draw the projections first. So our straight line AB 8 mm long inclined at 45 degree to HP. So assume our straight line inclined to 45 degree to HP only. Draw the front and top view first. First, we draw the x-y axis line using two edge pencils. And assume our straight line AB inclined, 45 degree to HP only, HP and parallel to VP. Rather front and top view. So NDA 20 mm above HP and 25 in front of VP. So first mark the NDA 20 mm above. So draw a horizontal line from NDA A dash front view A dash and fix the protractor take 45 degree inclination. Draw a 45 degree inclined line. Draw a 45 degree inclined line. Fix the protractor, take 45 degree. Draw a 45 degree inclined line. 45 degree And then our straight line AB 8 mm long. So A dash center 8 mm as radius. A dash center by using compass. Yes, A dash as center 8 mm as radius. Draw the arc. Mark the point B1 dash. B1 dash. Now, our end A 20 mm above and 25 in front. End A 25, 20 above, 25 in front. So 25 in front, extend up to 25 in front. 25 in front. And then mark the point A. And from B1 dash, draw a vertical line. And horizontal line from point A, mark the point B1. This is our first step. First, assume our straight line inclined to HP only, and HP and parallel to VP. Draw the front view and top view. Now the first step over. Second step, assume our straight line. First step, assume our straight line. A, 
be inclined to HP and parallel to VP draw its position. In second step, assume our straight line AB inclined to VP inclined to VP and parallel to HP assume our straight line inclined to VP and parallel to HP draw its projections assume straight line AB AB inclined to VP and parallel to HP draw its projections so second step first step our assume our straight line inclined to HP only over now our straight line inclined to VP only so what is the inclination of VP 35 degree to VP so center, A point A as center 30 fix the protractor in this place take 35 degree inclination draw a line draw a line at 35 degree inclination 35 degree inclination draw a line at 35 degree inclination now by using compass atmm as radius point a as center draw the arc From the arc cutting point as B2, mark the point as B2. Now, from B2, draw a vertical line. From B2, draw a vertical line. Using two edge pencil. Okay, using two edge pencil. And then horizontal line from A dash. Horizontal line from the intersecting point as B2 dash intersecting point as B2 dash okay intersecting point as B2 dash second step over now draw the locus of B dash and B draw the locus of D dash and B locus of B dash and B. How to draw locus of B dash and B? Draw a horizontal line, line parallel to XY axis and passing through B1 dash. Draw a horizontal line parallel to XY axis and passing through B1 dash by using two edge pencil. Draw a horizontal line passing through B1 dash and parallel to XY axis. That is locus of locus of B dash. Locus of B dash. Similarly, draw a horizontal line by using two edge pencil passing through B2 parallel to XY axis line. Passing through B2 and parallel to XY axis line. That is locus of B. Locus of B. Locus of B. That is locus of B. Now the third step over. The fourth step is draw the front end top view A, B, A dash, B dash, and A, B. Draw the final front end top view. Final required front end top view. Front and top view A dash B dash and A B. How to draw A dash center A by using compass A dash center A dash B to dash as radius A dash center 
a dash d2 dash as radius draw the arc similarly okay now the arc intersecting point on locus of d dash as point d dash now join a dash d dash to get the final front view of straight line a dash b dash next a center a b1 as radius a center a b1 as radius draw the arc draw the arc the arc intersecting point at locus of d as point d this join a and b to get the top view required final top view a b to check the whether the answer is correct or not by joining the b b dash should be a straight line the a dash b dash inclination with the horizontal represented by alpha this apparent inclination with the hp a b inclination with the horizontal beta apparent inclination with vp okay alpha apparent inclination with hp beta apparent inclination with with vp now mark the dimensions all the dimensions 20 above 23 in front draw the Dimension line, extension line using two edge pencil. Arrow get one is to three ratio. Twenty above, twenty five in front. And when our straight line length eighty mm long. Mark the dimensions e t m of the extension line always perpendicular to the object. And the arrow get one is to three ratio. simple four steps only uh, okay for next next class we will going to discuss about trapezoidal plane if you like this video like and share to your subscribe and like and share to your uh, friend circle thank you students thank you very much we will meet in next class thank you